what's up guys welcome back to my channel so today i am back with a wig review i know it's been a hot minute since i did a wig review but i just haven't really been buying any wigs until now so i got a new wig in and um i have been wearing this for a couple of days um i just haven't found the time to film a review until today so i have been wearing it a couple of days and i have gotten it a little bit wet because i've gotten rained on i feel like every time i get a new wig i always get caught in the rain like that is like a theme with me so yeah so this review is going to be after i've been wearing it a couple of days but as you can see it still looks good Okay, so I got the info card. This is the Brown Sugar BS201. And this is what it looks like. Um, so the info card just says it is a deep side lace part, which it is. It's soft lace. Um, this is the color 1B. And I'm trying to find the heat on here. So I can't find any information on like heat styling, but it does say it's a human hair mix. So I'm sure you can put heat on it just on a low setting if you need to like straighten it out a little bit or curl it or whatever. But this is what it looks like. And like I said, I have been wearing it a couple of days and this is what it looked like out of the package. Honestly, it hasn't really lost any of its shape. Um, I did, of course, trim the lace. But I am loving this wig. If you guys can, I'm back up some so you can see how long it is. So uh, this is pretty long. This looks to be about an 18 inch. Um, I'm five foot five, so this is where it comes on me, just right below my boobs here. And um, as you can see in the front, it has kind of like layered, like a layered swoop thing. It has like a shorter one here, and then here is another layer. And then it kind of just is like a little, it's just a bunch of layers, I want to say. Over here, too, you have a long layer and then a longer layer and a longer layer down here. So I really like this wig. It has tons of layers. You can do like the, the Leah swoop right here. You can bring it back some. I'm loving this wig. It's definitely a yakky texture. It is not a silky wig. It's yakky. It's kind of like a yakky silky, I want to say, because it's not super like thick and coarse, but it kind of is, but it's kind of silky. It's, it's hard to explain, but it is a very thick. I'm just trying to give you guys a close up of what the hair looks like. Um, and this is all the hair to the back. So this hair is very full, very thick. I'm loving that. I feel super luxurious wearing this out because I've been just wearing kind of short wigs lately or wigs that have just been kind of straight and boring. And this one, it's giving body, it's giving me layers, it's giving me length, and I am loving it. So this is what the part looks like. The part I think looks pretty good. I haven't done anything to the part. If you've been watching my videos for a while, you know I do not pluck parts on these synthetic wigs. I don't be doing all of that. I just feel like it's a synthetic wig. Like if it, if the part looks fake, then the wig isn't a good enough wig. Like that's what these, I feel like that's what these reviews are for. Like if I had to pluck the part and do a whole bunch of work to it, then the wig is trash. Some wigs, some synthetic wigs come with a bomb looking part. They come already looking good where you don't have to pluck the part. And if that's the case, then the wig is good. So this particular wig, I feel like I don't have to pluck the part. It looks good to me. You can still see the scalp. It's not like super tight together. Like I'm not, I'm not about to do all that. It's a synthetic wig. If it was like a human hair wig and you know, it needs to come looking good. But synthetic wigs, I just feel like I'm not doing all of that. So if it doesn't come already looking good, then it's trash. So anyway, cut the lace. So let's see, shedding. 
shedding with this unit is minimal i do get some shedding um here and there if i run my fingers through it i'll come out with a couple of pieces of hair i don't know if it's from me cutting the lace or what but it does shed a little bit it's not like major shedding it's not one of those wigs that just like hair is just coming out it's very minimal but it does shed a little bit um also tangling but i feel like that's kind of to be expected with longer hair there's always tangling um especially with these jackie units there's always tangling there's always a little bit of shedding so pretty much like standard with this wig it doesn't shed any more than a normal wig would and it doesn't tangle any more than a normal wig would it's pretty much standard um so yeah really really cute as you can see the parting space goes back kind of far it goes back to like here so yeah you have a long parting space and like i said it's soft lace is a really silky um like i said i have been wearing this wig for a few days it has gotten rained on and it still looks good so overall i definitely recommend this wig the parting space looks good i haven't done anything to it and i won't i'm gonna be wearing it like this and it just looks, I'm just loving it. This wig is bomb.com. I forgot to mention that there are two combs up here on both sides of the part. I like having combs because it makes the wig feel nice and secure. So there is a comb here and there's a comb right here, over here. And there's also a comb in the back and two adjustable straps. So this wig will be nice and secure on your head. It's definitely big head friendly. When I first got this wig and put it on straight out of the package, it was huge on my head. I had to tighten the straps like all the way for it to fit nice and snug. So don't worry about this wig. It will fit you nice and secure as long as you adjust the straps and adjust the combs but yeah as always i will be doing a two week update on this wig just to let you guys know if anything changes the shedding or if it starts losing its shape and with these synthetic wigs they sometimes start getting like frizzy on the ends and stuff like that so we'll see after two weeks if it's still looking like this or if it starts deteriorating so we will see and I know this wig is kind of old. I did a YouTube search and I found like people were doing reviews of this wig from like years ago, like two, three years ago. So I know this wig is kind of old, but I decided to do an updated review in case you guys wanted to buy it and get the tea on this wig because it's been a while. But yes, this is new to me and maybe new to some people. So I figured why not? So... But yeah, um, that's all I could think about with this wig. I think I covered everything. Um, as always, I'll leave the links down below in the description box where you can purchase it, all the different websites. I don't remember how much I paid for this wig. I think it was about 40 bucks. It really wasn't that expensive. And you know, for all this hair that you're getting, definitely, definitely worth it. Um, Please like, comment, and subscribe. I will be coming back with the wig reviews and I will be doing um, beauty videos and everything on this channel. So please subscribe if you haven't already. And yeah, if there's anything else you wanna know about this wig, leave me a comment in case I forgot anything. But I will be back in two weeks to do a update on this unit. And other than that, I'll see you guys in my next video. She's a part-time model.